Hello, welcome to another episode of the Brewery View Crew. I'm Ron. I'm Corey. Today we got something a little bit special for you. It's a bourbon barrel aged Mayan mocha from Oddside Ales. Ron, why don't you tell us what's in this one? Cinnamon, nutmeg, habaneros, some other stuff. And it was put in a barrel and it was aged and it's going to be awesome, I'm sure. We got this one as a gift from yes. our good friend Dan Clark. Thank you, yes. Dan, finally getting around to open this up. He told me... Now is the perfect time to open it. He said it is amazing with a little age on it. So okay. really excited about that. Again, if you aren't noticing, we're from our brand new studio. I love our new Episode studio. Episode two of the brand new BRC studio here in Bowling Green, Ohio. Very excited to be here with you with this. Let's crack it open. Glub, 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 glub. Barrel, it's my first stout in a long time. I think I went <laughs> stoutless all summer. Uh, well, the stoutless summer. <laughs> the, the summer sand stout. I mean, it makes sense because you don't want it when it's hot out. You want these to warm you up a little bit. Wait for this winter. Cool. It's going to be dark beer winter. DB dubs. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a smell of this Mayan mocha. In the, Odd side, you're Mayan mocha. I Woof. know. And here's this. I'm trying to say this without sounding like I don't enjoy parts of the smell. It kind of smells like puke i think that's the, the i think that's, that's, that's the peppers the peppers exactly and they always do they always kind of smell like uh like feet a little bit yeah there there is a very warm smell to it yeah. uh spicy peppery really upfront aroma but, if you can get past it though yeah. i i do get some coffee aromas mm -hmm. I'm trying. There's always a thing on the tip of your tongue. It's always nutmeg. You can get a little nutmeg in there. The cinnamon, cinnamon comes out. Almost like a candle, like a like a holiday candle. That warm smell that's like almost baking ingredients, baking yeah. spices. That'd be the grossest candle ever. <laughs> and it's almost like a, there's like a rich, like a brown sugar or like a rich syrup, a dark, dark syrup, like, yeah. that, like a molasses to it too. I think it actually smells really nice. I don't know how well it's going to translate into the flavor, but that's what we're here to do. Yeah, so let's. I'm I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie, but let's dive in. Let's try this out. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. You know, it's a lot more pleasant than the aroma is to me. Do you get like so, vanilla like yeah, straight away? Definitely. It's almost like a dessert beer. Because it, it has like that weird vanilla, I think it's the bourbon or the barrel characteristic. It has that vanilla barrel char characteristic, um, some dark sweetness, the cinnamon on top. It's almost like a like a weird sundae of some sort. Yeah. You ever had fried ice cream? I have not. It's one of the things I've always wanted it's to try. It's got, you know, it's got like cinnamon mm -hmm. coated and then like a creamy vanilla flavor. It tastes like fried ice cream. Awesome. Definitely the cinnamon pepper flavor is coming through, mm -hmm. but there's a creamy vanilla flavor as well like very desserty yeah and um i'm kind of surprised that there's no real heat i i guess maybe that's i don't know how long this has been aged um and it might be, might be the barrels taking a little bit of the heat away but there's no heat it's, really at all no i mean if anything i got a little tiny tinge in the back end but it's not habanero spiciness it, it's it's aged perfectly to the point where it's drinkable it's smooth the flavors are all there. That you do get a little bit of that big red type gum flavor to it too. I'm I'm blown away actually. And you know, even for summer, it's not really too thick. It's not no, really heavy no. either. It's well, Corey, uh, you know, from what you've already said, I have a feeling that the ratings be pretty good. But yeah. what are you giving the Mayan Mocha barrel aged stout? Um, I'm gonna go 95. Um, I think it could have been higher if the smell was more pleasant to me. And I, I mean, I know that's kind of a weird thing to do because when you're usually judging off of taste, but it's the whole experience. Right. If I were to yeah. give this to someone and say, smell this, they're yeah. not going to be like, oh my gosh, I want to drink that. Almost to the point where it was almost off-putting yeah. for you. So, yeah. I mean, that's something to factor in. Yeah. But then when I finally made it up and try it, uh, <laughs> it was it was really good. Like, Yeah. I'm going to really pretty much echo you. In my head, I was going 95 I think I'm going to stick there, 94, 95, okay. somewhere in the solid A range. It's really, really good because it's really, really well balanced yes. and, and, and the flavors really meld together in a way that they're distinct but also harmonious. Really nice. The peppers, I can. it's warm in my stomach. I can mm -hmm. feel it in, in my belly, but in no way is that a bad thing. So yeah, I think a very well done beer, if you get it, 
I'd say sit on it for a few months. I don't know what it's yeah. like fresh, but it's perfect now. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Brew Review Crew. Always remember. We're the Brew Review Crew. We'll review. A brew for you. Cheers. Cheers. If you like your stout's barrel age, click our face for one of our favorite barrel age stout videos. If you want to watch the previous episode of the Anderson Valley Goes Out, you can click right over there. And to go to our website, click up here. Make sure you like us, follow us, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you next time.